going on y'all jimmy macram marcus cash sp3 it's time for episode six of season four uh, part one of ozark our um last we saw Dar darlene had a heart attack and uh wendy waited a little bit before she decided to call the cops rightfully so um i feel like she, she could have put, pulled her pants down and fucking rubbed one out she would have I enjoyed that almost as much. And also, maybe not make the phone call? Like, don't even chance it. Just let her have the heart attack. Oh, it's God's will. It, it's, it's the smile. It's the smile for me. It's the smile that she get. The, the little, like, it's slow. It's, it was like a slow yes, smile. Yes, yes. It built when up. she realized what was happening. Like, her first instinct was to do good. And then her, her, it was like her brain told her no. You're gonna sit down. You're gonna. That's like her character in a nutshell. Watch. She wants to do good. I just, I just, I just can't. Cause look at her. She's so far gone. She's so gone. And I'm so here for it. Hey, it's like she was. She's about to go to sleep. Cause she was in like a robe, right? Uh, I think it's just like a house coat. Yeah, a house coat. So if she had like, a, like her cheeks were like clean. They were like wet. It was like this fucking big ass smile on her face. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I can't get over that scene. I've seen like that might, have, that might have been Wendy's greatest moment of this whole series, and that's saying a lot. It is. It after is after what we've seen in the first three seasons. But yes, or just this season, quite frankly. This is where you. This was the point of no return, where you know Wendy is just. There's no turning back now. Yes, I gotta be honest. I was thinking about uh, Ozark the other day about uh, punishment each character should get. Um, I think Wendy probably loses her family. I'm not sure if she dies. She just probably loses her family. For good. I can't think of a... Worse I can see that. I can see her alienating everyone. Yeah. Not the shame. <laughs> Marty has to work for the cartel forever. By himself. Um, well, that's with his son. Are you saying everybody's worst nightmare, basically? Yeah. That's... I like... The pro like uh, Marty gets help from Jonah to work for the cartel. Fucking... Ugh. No. I don't want this little kid here. That's my greatest punishment. Seven this little kid work with my, one of my favorite characters. Well, everybody, no, everybody, everybody's punished. <laughs> Press the little red button. Is she showing up at another raid? For no good reason. What happened? Did he see you? I don't think so. We should be on a view. Remix. Be advised of possible hostile fire from the cargo hold. Oh my god, is it like a bomb? I thought it's gonna be Please a bomb or nothing door. in it. Drop your weapons. It's a bomb. Get out of there! Go, yeah, go. buddy. Which explains the running. Absolutely. Fast as hell. Which is a pretty genius idea, right? Your stuff's getting seized. Okay, leave a fake out. But I'd like to test your cardiac enzymes again this afternoon. All I need is to take oh, my she's son alive? on the land for a walk. This is why you don't make that phone call. And Zeke, I don't want her in our house again. In our house. Did you hear me? Well played, ain't it? I hear you. Yep. I hear you. Yeah, didn't he cut fucking Ruth off like two seasons? West Town or Lincoln Park or, you know, and North Facing North Facing Windows, windows I remember. Yeah. You know, they, they teach that stuff in college. <laughs> truck arrives on time. I call our team in, truck explodes. That means Javi knows. If Javi suspects anything at all. I will handle my nephew, Wendy. Have our friend set up a meeting with her bosses. He targeted federal agents. They're not going to be willing to meet. Wendy, no. <laughs> Navarro should win a lot more wars than we give him. <laughs> Why? Because he just bosses people around? Yeah. There's a man getting a piece of steel removed from his brain as we speak. Which is why we need to get this done. Just please call call Chicago. See if they'll hear us out at least. I love how fighting the cartel is supposed to feel bad for you. It's fucking shit blown up. Like... Isn't that what happens? Yeah. Wouldn't it be worth it at the end? Got blown up, I ended this cartel. Or don't do it. I wouldn't. 
How was she? Uh, better. Still needs more tests, though. Hey, thanks for uh, staying here so late. Sure, anytime. I, uh, I better get to school. Do you not like that? Do you not like him going to school? Oh, no, go to school. I hit my bus on the way there, please. So, to what do I owe the full Wendy Bird charm offensive? <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> I love this guy. And we make a pretty great team. They do. I don't want to be willing to pair them up. He's like, I know where this is going. <laughs> How great. We launder money. For the Navarro cartel. <laughs> I have this uh, rule about not doing work that could get me killed. This would be a one-time thing. Never. Strictly legal paperwork, really. One time for they sure. You'll be dead. Looking for a kingmaker. And I found you. You're not going to quit on me now, are you? Yes. You got a little uh, bullshit in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the dynamic. I do. I'm gonna miss you, sir. <laughs> uh, he was great. She's a smooth talker. The best talker. There's a position for you at the foundation after all this. Uh, we do a lot of the same good, less explosions. Find where I am. She likes what she's doing for some weird fucked up reason. Your organization just targeted my agents. As, as I told Agent Miller. Please. Uh oh, this King Dick? Are they gonna look to arrest him on site? Between Navarro and Lagunas, you could cripple half of Mexico's drug trade. Prove Navarro wasn't behind the bombing. Then we'll reconsider. That's a fair deal. I it's an impossible deal. How do I do that? Yeah, I don't know how he's gonna do that, but at least they want at least they're giving him something Can you to tell work me who with. That was? Don't worry about him. Just give me your proof. Don't worry about him. The two you clammed up as soon as he walked in. Like, oh, dad's here. <laughs> he did feel like dad. <laughs> gotta stop being so snippy with the fucking guest. She went to go see him. <laughs> and she's still smiling. <laughs> Let him go. I am as strong as a bull. <laughs> you just had a heart attack. <laughs> Wendy's hilarious. Look after this one. She's still a bit delicate. <laughs> Wendy is such a goat. <laughs> Dude, that was so great. Gold. Gold. Tell them just showing my face should be enough, and if they want any piece of what I have to offer, to start showing some respect, Marty. Well, that, that's not enough. We, we need proof that this wasn't... <sighs> Y estas decisiones son las que tendrás que tomar, Javi, no son fáciles. Is he proud of him? Después que. <laughs> Después los birds son tuyos. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't tell what he's playing at. Is he playing him or is he playing the birds? I'd say both, I had to guess. Yeah, that's what it seems like to me. Do you think that I slept out on that? trailer because I wanted to stay here for the rest of my life and come with me it's, it's not that simple anymore it could be I know it's I got nowhere else to fucking go you're all I got we just need some time okay everything's gonna be okay I promise fucking connected I get it but you need to, you need to go Ruth you're stuck between a rock and a hard place Darling's gotta die. I love that. Oh, but you are. Yeah, your mom's right. You should start thinking about closing up shop, okay? And you'll babysit for Darlene Snell over my dead body. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, God, yes, that, that fits his description. Paducah. Uh, yes, I, I can be there in a couple hours. Jesus th th fucking Christ. Now look. Now look. There's a dead man in Paducah that looks like Ben. To go. <laughs> it's not him. Obviously. <laughs> but she can't not go, otherwise. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. But I love how in character she is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking, Marty's face like. 
<laughs> of course. It's not him. Well, why are you trying to sell Marty? <laughs> She's ours. You'll have to put us in touch. She still will only talk to me. That'll have to change. Oh, Jesus. How does Javi become more of a problem every episode? Ice man. Every every time he talks, man, I move him up the list of people that I hate from the show. <laughs> he had a fucking break last episode. He came back with double the anger. Yeah, hey, your uh, nephew just showed up to brainstorm when would be a great time to kill me and my family. <laughs> uh, Tell them they can have it all. The money, the routes, and the leadership. Them? The FBI? Uh, this this includes your nephew, right? Seems like a pretty good move, no? <laughs> The, the proof that he did the bombing. Well, he is in the Ozarks, isn't he? <laughs> what? And Navarro? Navarro's on top of it. Oh, thank God. Thank God he's turning on Javi. I'll go wherever you need me. Can't go with a beer. Suck. Ow. <laughs> she think it's cute? She's fucking embarrassed, as we all should be. That was good of you to drive all this way. You know, the church thought it was important that I come. The church. <laughs> right. right. Pastor Wells still your drinking buddy, or did he finally kill himself? Well, he's well. Wow. Thanks. Shit. I don't remember you ever trying to stop me. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. Anything? It was quieter with you gone. You gave it a shot, didn't you? Yes, she did. She tried. I got it done. Nothing's yours. Jesus. And give me something. You're my boy. That not enough for you? No. Fuck the captains. Fuck you. Maybe half of that statement. Maybe what? leave it at the captains. Why? She's not gonna hurt you, clearly. Cause maybe they call some rationale. Fuck the captains. Let me get something. If a miner not. gets hit with a federal money laundering charge, what happens? What the fuck? Mike Fleming does a lot better than your average teenage white collar criminal. Uh, might this better be discussed with a family therapist? <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, why are you this way? This doesn't exactly fall under your purview. Best idea wins. Uh, and I'm so concerned right Your now. uncle. Right. It made sense. Is that enough? Is that enough? That's your, that's your proof. Play the hobby's ego, got him to spill the beans. Jesus Isn't Christ. Just, Let's go! <sighs> Marty, Marty trying to get back his goat status. All right. All right, Marty. Packs your kid's car seat full of heroin. She's gonna kill him? Yep. Who the fuck did you have to con into giving you a baby? Just kill people me? for less. <laughs> and every unholy son of a bitch inside <laughs> Congratulations, Frank Jr. <laughs> you just got promoted. Oh, uh, darling. What the fuck? Make a roll for Tommy. Man, who you thought you was talking to? Seriously. You talking to Darlene Snow? Like, just kill people for less. I was hoping maybe in that state she catches another heart attack. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking she's not the greatest. Sam! Wendy? Sam, it is so good to see you. I could say the same. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. You don't mean <laughs> that. Right, right, of course. Though he's not really a guest. And you are the manager. This is your place. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, it was so easy. <laughs> he's so gullible. Why would any parent think they know their kid's password, by the way? Because <sighs> kids are not nearly as smart as they think they are. Maybe don't mention this to Jonah. He just, he gets so embarrassed when mom has to help. <laughs> Teenagers, am I right? Teenagers. Uh, Isn't it strange she didn't come out with a goddamn book? <laughs> <laughs> Sam's a dope. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That was Frank Cosgrove Sr. That was. Did she say hey? And she's doing this? Oh, 
you know what? I'm, I'm reaching, but hopefully maybe this pushes them away back to the roof. I can see that because it was really bothered when they killed the uh, limo driver. Yeah. Honestly, just as far away from here as fucking possible. That's crazy enough for everybody, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. Except the show. Yeah. Right. I don't like Wyatt that much. I like Roof. Okay. Yeah, not that much. I'd sacrifice her for Wyatt. Darlene gonna kill him. That's how I feel. I've been feeling like that's this whole season. That's Darlene's fine. gonna you know kill what? him. That's fine. Roof can kill her. I'm looking for Mr. James Fettlestuff. You found him? Oh. Wonderful. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nothing to report right now. But if you'd like to leave me your card. Call him the time. Every time. He's gonna kill that dog. Yes, he is. She's a, a foster mother in your jurisdiction, and she's a widow, and she just, she just suffered a terrible heart attack. I know. I know. It's so sad. <laughs> great. Oh, great, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Why is she this good? Illinois. She's just going off this episode. Start fresh again. With us? Of course. You know, I'm starting to think Wendy doesn't make it to Chicago. Same. What about Jonah? No, oh, he'll live with us. I mean, I guess he could live with you. If <laughs> you don't think he'd cramp your style. Mom, he <laughs> He's not gonna come. <laughs> yes, he is. John <laughs> <laughs> has been frozen. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I don't. I don't think so. Can I? Can I go to prison for that? Um, no, you can't. But you can for what you're trying to hide. Oh, shit. Calm down. Shit. Shit. I love how Marty's never worried about anything. Okay, first things first. We're gonna terminate. Make count starts to draw down. Then you close it. And... No trace. Okay. Did he just solve it just like that? Right, you didn't do anything wrong. The flag came from a, an outside party. Outside party? Who, who would even know? Marty God no. She's gonna kill Wyatt. I She's I'm gonna one of kill those Wyatt, ladies and gentlemen. I'm that pretty sure. Me. Dude, you can't say that. <laughs> it's not me, it's you never works. Of course it's Darlene. It's always Darlene. What is he gonna do? I don't know. Celebrate he's in charge. What's up? He wanted something he wanted a bigger piece. He didn't want his dad to be dead, motherfucker. Jesus! He's a gangster, I don't know how they think. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, Give me tomorrow to square everything away and, and then you do whatever you need to do to Darlene. What? This man got his, his dick shot off by Darlene. Like, I don't know if this is the guy you want to send to take care of Darlene. This is exactly who you want to send. He's now in charge of the whole army. And say hi. Oh yeah, yeah, he was helping me with something for school, but he had to go. Everybody's pitching in today, huh? What do you mean? Oh shoot! Yeah, your mom told me not to say anything. Uh, Sam's a fucking idiot. Welcome back, Sam. <laughs> Redeemed yourself. What? Oh my god, I hate you. What's wrong? Oh shit! Right. What? What if there's a father? What? What? Will you? <sighs> I don't even kind of understand what goes through Wyatt's head. This man went over there to break up with her and now he's getting married. What do you think? Was he 20? The thing they made us think he was smart at the beginning of the show. Another fucking hole. You don't give a shit what happens to me. All I think about is what happens to you. 
If you need help, Dad already fixed it. Jonah. Hey. Maybe don't mention my name, buddy. Hey, not, you tried to send our kid to jail. We both know he would not do a minute of jail time. I am trying to keep this family a family. <laughs> Four Clearly. Is this Everything's waiting for you there, huh? Our old life? Because that was a big fucking lie. Oh, Jesus. That's not a good phone call, is it? Nope. Uh, we are... Delivering Omar Navarro to the FBI in 12 hours. Jonah's gone. Who cares? We have more important things to do here. I was gonna fuck this up somehow. Robin Wright. Oh, I love her. So much. Now I have to watch House of Cards, but I still love her. <laughs> you ever have one of those moods where you just feel like you're, you can't be touched by the world? Where everything's going right all at once? Just me? Yeah. That'd be okay, good. You can't be what? You can't be touched by the world. Everything you do just hits. You're in the zone. Everything you do works out. No. And it goes on for like months at a time. Well, months? Mm -hmm. Jesus. What? Fair enough. Anyway, that's, <laughs> that's what it felt like Wendy was on this episode where she was going to fucking get this kid in trouble. We fucking he took Zeke away from Darlene. <laughs> She was, she was she was driving. She was like, "Oh, I just came up with this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this problem too." Uh, and then, like, I thought she might reconnect with her dad, and just all didn't quite come together uh, at the end there. Uh, fucking Sam. Well, to be fair, if your if your plan hinges on Sam, not a great plan. Sorry. If it hinders on Sam, keep it quiet. Who who ratted out on a little kid working at this at the fucking hotel? You expected this man to keep his mouth shut and not accidentally tell Jonah. It was the one thing she said. Don't tell Jonah. And he's everybody helping us today, right? <laughs> what? Sir. To be fair, he shouldn't have let her in the first place. Go ahead, guys. I clearly got something to say. Go ahead. He shouldn't have let her in the first place. Why not? Because it's a but violation please of his privacy. Please connect with this, the teenage rebellion. Go ahead. No, it's a, that's what we are. It's a violation we're a teenager. of teenager. Go ahead. It's a violation of guest policy. Just this one time, you clearly are acknowledging that you shouldn't be fucking doing this. That is job. You should fire Sam, honestly. Who? Uh, Roof. Continue. Go ahead. What do you think about the show? The episode. Go ahead. That was a really good episode. It was really fun. I can't wait for us to disagree about the awards. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What did you think about the episode? I, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Marty, Marty had his moments... Uh, I mean, Wendy at this point is just like, <laughs> just like she is just on one. Like, if there was ever someone who was on one, it is Wendy. It is Wendy. She, and that was the best analogy ever that Marty gave. It was like, you can't throw your child into a burning building and expect her to run out into your arms. Yeah. She, uh, she is. What she expected. <laughs> she has completely botched this fucking uh, Jonah thing. Um, anybody knows stage rebellion is not helped by uh, uh, prison time apparently um, I love Darlene more than I should but she's a whole problem and I think one that's going to get solved unfortunately by Frank Jr. I uh, I'm sh Frank Jr. didn't take care of this? Frank Jr. and the Kansas City mob just, just remind you, this is Frank Jr. This isn't Tommy Thomas Patrick Egan. Thomas Patrick Egan, he would take care of this very quickly. Agreed. But Frank Jr., nah. Just send all of your guys, like all of them, at the once. That, the ones that already don't listen to him? Well, they have to now if he's the boss. First of all, they don't have to, and it's not necessarily that he's the boss. This is the fucking uh, uh, a kingdom where it automatically gets passed down to the fucking son. Yeah, it's not inheritance. He, that's not, he can't put that in his will. You get the Kansas City. Yeah, if the underboss, if they like the underboss more, they go with the underboss. Your granny wants to kill the son at that point, but still. I let you watch mob stuff. I do, but I'm not uh, watching it right now, so memory. That's hilarious. I, I'm a little shocked Roots sent him at her, though. Are you? Yes. I thought she just wanted to get Wyatt and get the fuck out. I think Darlene's paying attention. To, uh, Darlene. I think Roof is paying attention to the show. Darlene's a fucking problem. Not if you leave. Exactly. You don't go back and tell but if her you're, you're leaving. You just leave, Wyatt. Like, why but, does Wyatt need to have that conversation with her? That's what I was confused about. 
Yeah, I, I didn't get that part either. We'll, I'll, I'll touch on it in a second. Well, if, if Ruth is trying to leave with Wyatt, mm-hmm. she's going to assume Darlene's going to come after Wyatt, trying to get Wyatt back, maybe kill Ruth or kill them both. So we got off Darlene. I'm not mad at the theory. Uh, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. I, I, I kind of understand that with Ruth. Ruth's part of this. It's the Wyatt part that I don't really understand. Like, why do you need to have this conversation with someone who is very erratic? Because we don't want to ghost people. That's bad. Frank Sr. was trying to have a conversation. Well, no, he wasn't. He was like, listen here, you goofy hillbilly bitch. Bop. Take that, stupid. Shut up. What did she kill fucking um, Del for in the first season? What did he say? He called her a redneck. Yes, oh, yeah. it wasn't even crazy. It was just called her Regnet and she killed him. In my home. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Um, he was right. unkind. <laughs> remember, remember the first scene we ever saw her? She broke a glass and cut someone's neck open. Right. right. That's right. The, first, right. the first episode we saw her in. Right. I will admit the writers did not have a drop off of Darlene at all. <laughs> she has stayed exactly who she is. She's been the most consistent character. That's why she she might be in the in the running for MVP of this episode. She's fucking she's hilarious. hilarious, hilarious to me. I, I, love, I love it. She came out of of looking having a heart attack at the end of the last episode and just ha- just. No, she's not delicate. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what she called her delicate. Uh, you should know once fucking Wendy opened with fucking. She's still delicate. This is about to be an outrageous fucking episode. Um, I love she's mashing potatoes with the body nearby. <laughs> just, just waiting for Wyatt to put away. She's like, hey, hey. Is that a body on the ground? What? Yeah. Yes, I was, just, I was waiting for Wyatt to see it. <laughs> That's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> Poor Wyatt. Uh, I, uh. MVP? Since you have a very controversial, apparently, pick. Oh, no, it's just you guys are going to be so wrong in a second. Uh, Navarro for MVP. Okay. He's setting up Javi. He's getting the fuck out. He's getting his deal. He's got his deal back on the table because he's giving up his nephew. Okay. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. Uh, Silver, Marty. Don't disagree with that either. Saving the fucking day. Saving his son. I don't care about that part. I was talking about the fucking wearing the wire. Wearing the wire as well. Saving, but saving the fucking day. Keeping his son out of jail. His son's not going to go to jail. Even Marty knew that. So he's not going to have anything on his record either. On his record. Stop lending him money. So. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time, sir. He was doing it perfectly fine. That's not how crime works. If you get away with There's it, There's no such legal. thing as fine crime. If you have got caught, you're not getting away with it. If you, get, if you don't get caught, it's legal. Uh, you didn't get caught. You're welcome. You was about to have a nervous breakdown. What, what am I supposed to do, Dad? Oh, now you're a teenager again. You need Dad's help. Oh, okay. Let me help. Stupid. Ugh. You just hate children, Jimmy. I love children. No, you don't. I love Charlotte. You hate you hate sixteen year olds and I love like Charlotte. Keep like. it together, Charlotte. Don't crack now. We've done a great job this season. Last couple seasons, actually. Last couple seasons. Sorry, we saw Charlotte on TV. Last couple seasons. Um, yeah, Charlotte's been on the money since like season three. Agree. Uh, bronze. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Roof. Uh, she's got Frank Jr. trying to go kill off Darlene. That's always going to get an honorable mention. We think. He didn't agree to anything yet. Well, she, plant, she planted a seed. That's always going to get honorable mention for me. Okay. Uh, she's trying to get Wyatt the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... She didn't succeed at that. I said trying. <laughs> I love that. We're giving a list of... What, what happened to you? No participation trophies for shit. She's got wheels in motion. She's got wheels in motion. Uh, it, <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop. And the wheel went the other way. This motherfucker wants to get married now. Uh, which is why my LVP. Go ahead. Why? <laughs> okay. Because you were getting the fuck out of there 45 seconds ago, and now you're getting hitched. He's a teenager. You're f- dope. There's fucking hormones all over the place. It, you, uh, see, the, you don't keep the same energy because you have all this f- negative energy about dumbass little boys with Jonah. But dumbass little boys like Wyatt, you don't keep that same energy. Here's why this is wrong already. Did I not say in this episode, in fact, that I would get rid of Ruth if we also got rid of Wyatt? Yeah. Did I not say this episode? Yeah. Don't come at me. Disgusting. Don't ever come at the, don't come at the goat skin, Bayless. I said what I said. I always keep the same energy. It's my name. But you don't hate on him as much. He's not a snitching ass bitch! Like his mother. What? Who reported his son, her son to the feds. Snitching ass bitch. What the fuck are you even talking about? Snitching ass bitches. 
Who's he snitching on? She snitched on her son. Her son is not a part of the crew. Her son is out. Beat it. You're not part of this team. This is our team. But she wants him to come back to Chicago. So she wants him to be part of the team. And that's who you are. You're not part of the team. Okay. Well. Let me know when you get on the bus. If you're on the bus, we'll go wherever you want to go. Snitching Until you're on the bus, fuck all the way off. Snitching ass bitch. There's a difference between setting someone up and snitching on them. That, to me. I don't know if there's a difference or not. All I know is he's the enemy. Traitorous ass rat. He started it. Talk about Nick's. Did you talk about a dead shot? What the fuck's wrong with you? Talk about doing jail time. We'll do some fucking jail time if we kill the goddamn sheriff. That was a messed up. Uh, MVP? Uh, MVP? Uh, MVP? I'm gonna go with Darlene, because that turnaround, yo. She ended the episode with a heart attack. She started off this episode in a hospital bed. She she shot one of her problems dead. Her no, her her next problem that was wheels in motion, to, ready to run her down. She had that shit go all the way around, and she's inside the car going to heaven. Like she 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 completely flipped the script, and it may solve her third problem, which is Zeke getting taken by the social services now that there's a father involved. Like she did also erase a half million dollar debt. <laughs> well, she she killed she killed that motherfucker. I, I, I'm going I'm going with Darlene over the Kansas City mob. If she could kill the mob boss that easily, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go. That? I gotta lean towards Darlene. He's a fucking idiot. How do you run up somebody's so house? I go Darlene. I do agree. Navarro deserves a mention because he he's got his wheels in motion to complete his plan. And uh, Marty Marty solved uh, Jonah's problem. He did his thing on his end, setting up Javi. So yeah, I, I those are my three MVPs. LVP, yeah, Wyatt, Wyatt, <laughs> Wyatt, Wyatt is just like he's just he's uh, way uh, uh, beyond his means. I don't think he really knows what he's gotten himself into with Darlene and the fact that he asked her to marry. I know he doesn't know what he got himself into. So yeah. Uh. <laughs> First of all, we all agree on OVP. It's Wyatt. Poor Wyatt. I, uh, you dumb bastard. Why? I mean, I get being emotional. I get he never really wanted to leave. Um, but um, he overthought his answer. You had the right answer. Right yeah. answer is to get the fuck out. You just shot your pants because you killed somebody a second ago. Yes. And this is the second time she's done it, and the second time you've lost your shit. Um, so this time it's a mob boss. Sir, get the fuck out. No, let's get married. What? Um... MVP, I, I, I like Navarro for that. He didn't do much, but everything he did worked. That's number one. And number two, uh, it sets him up quite nicely to get the fuck out, which always a win. Number uh, Silver, I'm going to go with Marty, because uh, while he did help Jonah, that isn't his interest. Like, it might not be my interest, because I don't like Jonah, but I also wouldn't want my son to go to jail. Or even the threat of jail. I have his record where it's fucked. Um, so I like that move, and obviously wearing a wire and getting dumbass Javi to say what you want. Uh, fucking hobby. You just stroked his ego a little bit and he just spilled the beans. What a fucking dope. Um, since we're getting participation awards, uh, Wendy, because she went for all of it. We tried to get our kid in trouble. We tried to get Darlene, fucking uh, Zeke, taken away from Darlene. We even tried to talk to our piece of shit dad, who is the worst. He's our family lawyer, too. Oh, and she compromised him already. No, you're our lawyer, and then immediately Javi just shows up at his door. Well, what do you do about that? Javi's a nut job. Wouldn't that fall on Navarro? Does he give Javi the keys? That's why he showed up. He said, I'm the boss now. I wanted to introduce myself. I put that on uh, Wendy for I'm forcing shocked. him I'm instead of being the lawyer. I'm shocked, absolutely. But forcing him? Yeah. She asked him. Or coercing him, rather. Not forcing. Coercing. How'd she coerce him, sir? He'd be ours, not the cartel. How's she coercing him? We're going to use words. we got to fucking get the words right. How's she coercing him? I'm not the worst myth. They don't use them. Don't come at the go. Ever. Don't ever come at the go. Now listen, I, I gotta be honest. The reason I went Marty over Wendy is because the end speech Marty gave Wendy. Which was, we're not turning the kids into one of your conquests. They're not something to fucking run over like you do everybody. And I do think, I think I think my prediction at the beginning of the episode is going to come true. I think Wendy's going to lose everything. Yeah. Um, and it's, I gotta be honest. I don't think it's undeserved, number one. And number two, I don't really care. I'm here to see Wendy do awful things through the end of the season. That's why I'm here. 
Doesn't make her a good person, Jimmy. I don't give a fuck. That has nothing to do with me. I'm here to watch a TV show. We're here for riveting characters. Yes. Breaking Bad, Tony Soprano, I'm here to watch awful people do awful things. And if it comes back to bite them, hey, what do you want? It happens. Tommy Egan, James St. Patrick, this is what we do. Gotta be honest, though, I need Joan to go away. Even though I totally sympathize for, uh, that's not true. I don't sympathize. Go away. Period. Ever. No. Anyone. No. No. Especially men or boys over a certain age. We agree. Over right. 13, you should be man enough to accept your fate or do something about it. You live in the mommy's house talking about I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. In a Just, hotel that somebody else owns. The motherfucker don't own shit and has all these complaints. And die slow. Uh, to recap, Jimmy hates the suffix ager. Anybody that's a teenager, Jimmy's very that was against. A, that was a stretch. Why? <laughs> Why? It's been a lifelong passion of yours. Are teenagers not awful people? Are they not awful people? They're just as helpless as children, but they have just as much boldness as adults. Teenagers are awful people. You can beat them three or four of them at a time. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Love you if you're teenagers watching. That's a decent part of your audience, too. I looked at my uh, demo. Sorry. Um, it is I know, because it was that follow me all this. <laughs> No offense. You'll grow. You'll hate yourself, too, in a few years. Uh, plug? I have my batteries done on the Twitter where I will not post anything ever. <laughs> no plug? Uh, check out our wrestling YouTube channel, True Heel Heat. You can see myself, Jimmy, every Thursday, 1.05 p.m. Eastern Time, live, talking about AEW Dynamite on AE Ramble. <sighs> Check out this past week's show where we added movie clips and TV show clips, which made it all the more more hilarious. Yes, Romeo went off. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you didn't, uh, I am the channel owner, so I guess I have to take some responsibility. But it's not really my fault. I mean, I'm working with two other people. I don't really know which one for me, but uh, it is. Um, like, share, subscribe. You didn't turn the lights off and turn them back on. <laughs> <laughs>